Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, October 19th, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier so today looked at a technique used to obfuscate malicious Python scripts and, well, uh, that particular obfuscator is actually available as a web page. You just copy paste your Python code and get the obfuscated script back. The technique overall is uh, pretty simple and straightforward and I've seen actually very similar stuff also in JavaScript. The obfuscated Python script uses a number of eval statements that then decode a hex encoded version of the script and then base64 decoded. Uh, Xavier tested a couple of malicious scripts to see how the simple and obfuscated version scored in virus total. As expected, a virus total detection rates dropped quite a bit uh, for the obfuscated version. So with a little effort, a simple copy paste to a web page, an attacker is able to bypass a good number of anti malware tools. Personally, I think there's actually sort of an opportunity here for a somewhat more heuristic signature, given that uh, the obfuscated scripts uh, consist mostly of eval statements. Eval statements, they happen, but they shouldn't really dominate your script like that. And Oracle, as expected, dropped its quarterly critical patch update uh, today. And uh, as also expected, there are too many products and vulnerabilities covered to really discuss them here at any length. 370 vulnerabilities are addressed and looks like something like 110 or 120 different product families. So per product, it's actually not that bad. It's about uh, three vulnerabilities uh, product. I looked at sort of what the highest CSS scores were. There were a good number of vulnerabilities with a score of 9.8. And the, the patch for log4j is also something that's sort of recurring. And one of the 9.8 vulnerabilities actually was a log4j issue in Oracle Agile Engineering Data Management. Just like log4j, there are a lot of sort of Java issues, frameworks and such uh, that are being patched here. Some of the vulnerabilities were likely already known uh, before uh, this update came out. So as usual, patch with, with care, but uh, patch in particular some of uh, these component vulnerabilities that were already known. Security company with secure released a blog post discussing some weak options if email is encrypted within Microsoft Office 365. The problem here is, well, very classic actually when it comes to applying encryption. The cipher isn't really the problem here, but how uh, the keys are being derived, you typically have a master key and then for each block that you're encrypting, you sort of should come up with a new key. That's not really uh, what's happening here. So everything is basically encrypted using the same key. That's of that classic electronic code book uh, vulnerability, which means that in particular for images, uh, if you have an image uh, and different blocks in the image look different, uh, look the same, then they will also look the same after they're being encrypted. So the image kind of looks like a little bit of lower resolution, false colors, but you often can still make out the content of the image. Now with images, it's sort of uh, the most obvious, but the um, same also applies then, of course, to other messages. In particular, of course, if you have some known plain text issues and such. Microsoft does consider Office 365 message encryption to be a legacy feature. It uh, doesn't look like there will be any update or patch coming. So if you do want to encrypt, then, well, uh, you're back to using some third-party product, uh, maybe PGP. But usually it gets then fairly clumsy if you sort of have to save a document, encrypt it, then back upload it. And finally, a quick note for the car hacking enthusiasts here. Synactive uh, published a fairly extensive presentation showing how they accomplished an exploit against a recent 
Tesla Model 3. They were able uh, to open the car's doors and windows via a Wi-Fi exploit. If I read it right, and uh, the presentation is uh, fairly long, but uh, looks like uh, they sort of went uh, through the entertainment system. That's a very common uh, route for many of uh, these uh, car exploits. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.